from the team that took on Leeds United on Friday night. In comes Willy Kumbwala, James Nolan, Dan Gore, Maxi Oyudeli and Shola Shore Tiri. Ten minutes into the game and the home side almost opened the scoring. Fullback Josh Papula found himself high up the pitch, latching onto a bouncing ball, but Eli Harrison was quick off his line to apply the pressure, and Papula couldn't convert the rebound into an empty goal. United responded minutes later after some neat play in the midfield. The ball was spread wide to Mejia, whose left-footed shot was easily dealt with by Jordan Smith. Mateo Mejia was beginning to look dangerous for United, involved once again after Dangor's driving run found the winger, who took his first shot first time, but couldn't find the target. Chances from both sides were at a minimum as we approached the half-time. Gore and Mejia combined to change United's fortune, but the boys in blue managed to clear. Seconds later, and United had won a free kick right on the edge of the Stockport penalty area. Sholo Shoritere stepped up for what would be the last kick of the half, but couldn't take advantage. A change of shape for Stockport saw them move into more of an attacking formation. However, the second half started very much the same as the first ended. Mejia delivering the ball into the box from the right-hand side onto the head of Hugo. On the hour mark, Manchester United introduced Ethan Williams to the game. Two minutes later, and Williams was brought down by Akil right in the box, enough for the referee to point to the spot. Joe Hugel stepped up and had his penalty saved by the goalkeeper and kept a cool head to convert the rebound and put United a goal to the good in front of the away fans. The super sub almost struck again on 70 minutes. Clever play from the throw led to Shuratiri receiving the ball on the turn, finding Williams, who faked his right before striking with his left and smashing the crossbar. Minutes later and Stockport were down to 10. The skipper Ryan Crosdale receiving a second yellow card for his challenge on Shuratiri. County manager Dave Chalinor received a booking in the process. As we entered the final 10 minutes, the home side looked to use their height advantage from set pieces. Nolan headed the ball clear as Williams launched the counter-attack before being brought down by the substitute, Ashton Lee. The fourth official announced 11 minutes of added time as Shuri Tire won the ball back in the United half before his outside the football found Wheatley through the middle. He teed up Charlie McNeil for a strike on goal, but it wasn't enough to extend United's lead. As we entered into the 100th minute of the match, Stockport began to deliver more balls into the box. United were dealing with them well until Eli Harrison looked to collide with a county player. A penalty was awarded and Tanto Alofe stepped up to convert to draw his side level and surely take the game to be decided by penalties. United won the coin toss and chose to shoot in front of the away fans. It was Charlie McNeil who stepped up first and fired his shot into the top right corner. Evans then scored for County. Shoulder Shore Thierry showed a calm head with his spot kick. Louis Barry then equalised. Nolan found the top corner for United. Ryan Rydell was next for County and had his penalty saved by Harrison. Ethan Williams then stepped up and converted to put United in the driving seat. Minutes after scoring his first, Olofe scored his second penalty of the game. Ethan Wheatley then stepped up with the pressure penalty for United to send the goalkeeper the wrong way and confirm the win for the Reds. Full-time at Edgeley Park, Stockport County won, Manchester United won, Manchester United winning 5-3 on penalties. Travis, all of a sudden...